Hi all, uh, this is uh, Mike here. In today's video, uh, I'm going to bring you guys uh, the ways for you to actually flash uh, stock uh, Google Factory image back to the Nexus 10. Uh, among all the Nexus devices I have, I find that Lineage doesn't run very well in uh, Nexus 10 itself. And I don't know what's the reason. Um, and I've actually tried other ROMs, but um, from so far from where I use this as my daily driver, I personally find that the Android Lollipop version of the Google Factory Image runs the best in this tablet itself. So, yeah, I accept some features might not be available, but it's solely up to you because I use it mainly for web browsing and, and some other stuff. And the stock ROM actually serves me the best for this one. It's a bit different. Nexus 9 Lineage OS runs a bit better compared to the uh, stock Google Factory Image. But for this one, I think the stock factory image runs well right so without further ado let me get into the um, step of flashing this back to stock factory image okay first of all before we start we would need to um, enable developer option as you can see developer, developer option is already enabled so normally what we'll do is just go to the build number and tap for seven times you should be able to have developer settings enabled so in here itself the major thing you need to look at is android debugging make sure this is enabled okay so once you have this enabled you are good to go right you can actually plug the um, tablet to your pc for the setup process okay before we start we need to make sure that we have the uh, factory image downloaded here and this factory image logically you need to extract it extract it out into the into a folder so we can do the flashing itself and um, now uh, I have connected the USB to the tablet itself so once it's connected you can actually run ADB devices uh, before that um, please make sure you have ADB installed so I, what I'm using is uh, minimal ADB and fast boot you can I'll leave a link down below where you can actually download it and install that that's what that is one of the easiest way for you to have ADB installed on your machine without going through the hassle of installing the entire Android SDK, right? So the first thing you need to do is to detect whether the device is connected. You can do ADB devices. For the first time itself, if you are installing, you will be able to see that uh, Android this, this uh, allow an USB debugging thing to be available. So you will need to check always allow and OK. So by doing that, you'll be basically allow the tablet itself to be connected to your PC. Okay, once you have allowed USB debugging on your Nexus tablet itself, Nexus 10 tablet, what we can do next is to do ADB devices again. And this time, as you can see, the device will be attached and stuff. So uh, from then on, you can actually boot to fast boot. Um, to do the flashing process so what you need to do now is just to do an adb reboot boot loader so your nexus 10 should be booted into fast boot itself okay as you can see now this device in this is an unlocked state so if you yours is in lock state means you will need to do a, a boot loader unlock in order for to do the flashing so if you do that it means that um, you will run, need to run certain commands in the uh, fastboot uh, command prompt, which I'll show you later. Okay, so once your device booted into fastboot mode, so the next thing you need to do is to uh, make sure that you your tablet is in uh, unlocked state. So if it's locked, you can actually do a fastboot OEM unlock to actually unlock the tablet itself. But by doing that, you are going to erase everything in your tablet. They are going to do a factory reset. So please make sure that you back up all your stuff before you do this. So once you have backed up everything and run Fastboot OEM Unlock and your device has been unlocked, then you can proceed with the uh, flashing process. Okay, um, today we are going to do the flash a bit in a bit different way. So um, normally we'll do a flash all dot bad. That one is automatic and stuff. And for those folks who are having issues uh, doing the flash on this way, I mean, there are a manual way to do so. 
if you have problem flashing using the flash all dot bat you can do it this way and it's actually similar to what flash all dot bat runs right so so before we start we first first of all we need to make sure that fast boot is connected so we do a fast boot devices as you can see it's connected now so what we want to do first of all is to boot is to flash the boot loader so normally you do a fast boot flash boot loader and boot loader manta right then press enter then you do a fast boot 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 loader and then your device will get rebooted into boot loader so the next thing you need to do would be if you take a look at the uh, Space itself, there is a image mantaray.zip and stuff. So this zip file needs to be extracted out. As I did, this zip file itself needs to be extracted out into another folder, which I did, which I've done in the images folder. So we're gonna do a C images. As you can see, uh, there will be a list of stuff here. So normally what we will do is to uh, do a fast boot. Flash recovery recovery image then after that we do a fast boot flash boot boot image so once that is done we can do a fast boot flash cash cash and it, yeah, this will take a while. So once it is done, we can do a fast boot system flash system system image. And this is a big one, so it will take a while. So you just let it uh, let it complete flashing. Okay, so once the uh, flashing of system image is done, then the last step would be fast boot, flash user data, user data dot image. So when user data has finished uh, flashing and stuff, so you have complete the uh, manual flashing process. So what you need to do now is just to do a fast boot, reboot to boot the device and wait for the tablet to be completed. Once you are done with this, you can disconnect your tablet and wait for the boot to be completed. Okay, so now the uh, tablet has been booted up, so we will just go through the standard setup process, connect to the Wi-Fi. So now it's connected, then they will do the setup process. Okay, as you can see now, it's been reset back to stock factory settings. As you can see, uh, we can check out at the about tablet side, it's Android, running Android. 5.1.1 Yep, so that's the lollipop version and this is the final version of the stock ROM that's available uh, as far as I know this is one of the best uh, available ROM not the best available ROM but um, it performs pretty good in this tablet itself and even up to today I think uh, of whatever tablet that available in the market for this size 10 inch tablet with a, with a very good resolution on the screen and a front firing speaker this one still one of the best um, available tablet around for today if you plan to get um, I mean it you can get one of these in, in refurbish at a very good price so if you want a big tablet um, it's thin it's, it's thin it's still um, yeah it's a bit dusty behind because of the uh, materials but it's, it feels still feels pretty good and um, if you want a big tablet and a good price this is one of them that you can consider so um, that's all I have for today guys so if you want to revert your Nexus 10 back to stock factory settings um, this is all the way that you can do it it's pretty simple you can just wait manually and flash the image one by one back to the, uh, back to the tablet itself and, um, and you're all done right so uh, if you want to get one of these, I'll leave a link down below. You can actually use the link to purchase one if you want to to support my channel. Um, yeah, if you have any other 
if you have any other kind of questions and you can actually leave a comment down below I'll try to answer them as much as I can and um, that's all I have for today and I hope to see you again soon bye